I got in inside the apartment in uh, Cluj. As you can see, my mom likes to look around. She's curious. This is the kitchen. The apartment looks okay. The welcoming is done automatically. Meaning you find a box where you have to put in a number, where you take the key from there, and then you get up stairs and then you take the uh, remote keys in order to open the uh, garage doors and then you go back downstairs and then you take the car and then you open the gates and then you get to the parking and then you get up but after all that uh, this is one bedroom looks good Uh -huh. This is a, another bedroom. Looks good. Uh -huh. And it should have a balcony. Uh -huh. Ooh. Yum, yum. Here's where I'm staying. I have no idea where this is. Somewhere in Cluj. Yes, Cluj is extremely crowded. Number one being Eucharist, and then a very close number two is Cluj. It looks nice. Oh, yes. This one was also 30 euros. Mm. And there's a bathroom. It's big. I like big bathrooms. And there's lots of space. A toilet. Let's see. Wow. So, the house. So, a place to put your tooth. Face, and toothbrush, and a big bathtub, and a washing machine. Mm -hmm. What is this? I guess to put your dirty clothes. 30 euros per night. But I think this one as well is 60 euros per night during the weekend. The um, kitchen. Oh, yeah. It's got an oven and everything and it looks nice. So uh, it's a nice apartment. I like it. Recommend it. Mm -hmm. With Feng Shui rules. So comfy. Yes, I like the bed as well. <clears throat> and the chair. I like this place. Well, this is it for now. By the way, I'm here for my birthday, so I think I'll have a pretty awesome birthday this year. <laughs> I am in Julius Mall in Cluj, and I wanted to show you something pretty interesting that I've seen. Um, sweet. Thank you, sweet. Sweet. This looks interesting. 
I remember I had something from this brand a few years ago and I liked it. That's why I'm showing you. I'm going to the food corner. So ice cream, eh, I don't recommend it. Ice cream has uh, cubes of ice in it. That's why I don't like it. Pretty much everywhere it has cubes of ice. I ate from different uh, companies. Right, if you have come to you, you small uh, here. Food. This co this company. They don't have uh, salty food. What I liked. I had a, I had cabbage, the cabbage was edible, I liked it, and of course, pork, it was, um, it was rather clean, so it was not something that I enjoyed very much, and the other company, next to it, the food there is extremely salty, like, I couldn't even swallow the bite from here. It is extremely salty. And then the rest, uh, well, the rest, there's nothing edible at the rest of the places, but I'll show you. So here are bread and uh, sugar, nothing interesting. Here are only potatoes, and I don't eat starch, so, right, they add starch and everything. Oh wait, I think that's Chinese. Yeah, that's uh, that's Asian food, but they add they add starch in it. This is Lebanese food, but I don't eat any. I don't eat any beans and bread and cereals, and I don't eat tomatoes. So there's nothing edible here either. As I said, the only place with edible food in here is only the food. The one that I showed you. Here the food is fried, so there's nothing edible. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Lunch box salad. It is September and temperature is 10 degrees outside, therefore I don't eat salad. No salad in September. What else? Um, shawarma. It's, it's uh, usually salty, so, and it doesn't have much fat, that's why I'm not eating that. Tomatoes and cheese. I don't need any of those either. <sighs> what else? Mm, Shanghai. Chinese. Chinese add... Chinese people add starch in everything and, and they uh, do not accept to cook for me especially without starch in, uh, in this kind of uh, big stores I mean they need to have fewer customers in order to cook for me especially Spartan it is extremely salty pretty much everywhere I've eaten Spartan it was extremely salty and fruits, they're old, so yeah. Taco, taco has lots of beans, so beans and cereals, and uh, so there's nothing edible here either. And then McDonald's, nothing edible, and then KFC, nothing edible, and then Subway, nothing edible. So uh, that's it. Hopefully I'll find uh, some uh, pork ribs again, or I don't know what I could find. Something with a bit more fat. Ooh, pancetta, if I could find that would be awesome. Yes, I really wish I could find pancetta. I miss pancetta, I miss Italy. Alright, and my mom wants to have a cheesecake, so I will show you her dessert. Okay.
Let's see. Dessert, yay! Ooh. This looks yummy. Mm, it's cheese with, of course, bread should be set aside. What's that thing? Yeah, that doesn't look edible. Mm, this is. Um, yeah, see? That doesn't look edible at, at, at all. It's just some bread and some. It doesn't look like cheese, it's just like the scent of cheese. <laughs> but my mom told me it might be made of uh, cow milk. And the bread is. Ah, oh, just bread. Who eats bread? It's not very soft. Is it good? A was born? Oh, from my mom. Okay, so let's see. Is it good? Uh, she said it's salty. Yes, my mom has been craving bread for a very long time. I think she still has candida. She says that it's uh, made with cow cheese. She says that one is good. But uh, as you can see, she just she's after the bread. She likes bread. So I would agree with her that it's good. Maybe she should take some uh, nutritional yeast. The thing is, she doesn't want to take nutritional yeast when I give her a call. She just wants to eat bread to feed Candida. So, I'll go see if I can find something else. Let's see what my father tells me. Alice. So that's egg white and the other one I think is made with the apples. Mm -hmm. It's an apple pie. Yeah, that looks okay. And the product for yeah, the new yeah. pies. Yeah, she... Okay, so she's trying the apple pie. Yeah, it's just bread with some tiny pieces of apples. Marcos Portichara. You prefer prunes or not? She says that there are apples with cinnamon, but I see a, a big piece of bread in there. I don't see the apple. It's impressive. That white fluffy thing is just egg white with sugar. No, no, no. At home, we usually throw away the egg white because uh, it just has albumin, which uh, stops the absorption of B vitamins. So we just throw them away at home. We 
we only eat the egg yolk. Yeah, I guess uh, this store, this restaurant, they just, uh, they probably eat the egg yolk like we do at home. And instead of throwing away the egg, why did they sell it? <laughs> Funny. Yep. Well, that's pretty much it. So, I came back to Yuspol and I had... Yesterday I had only the pork. Um, the problem is that even if theoretically they say this is supposed to be fat, to have fat in it, um, I cannot chew this kind of fat. It is not like pancetta, it's not like bacon. It, is, it feels mostly like lean meat, just protein. And it's very chewy, hard to chew and um, doesn't taste very good, tastes less. But this one tastes good. This is chicken and it tastes good. Mm -hmm. And it's soft and uh, probably because it is soft that's why in my opinion it feels like it has more fat. And I like to eat this one with the cabbage. I like this cabbage maybe also because it's soft. I guess whenever I find something that is soft and moist I imagine it has um, fat. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but that's just how it feels to me. And all everything else that feels hard and chewy, and I have to chew it a lot. And even after I'm done chewing it a lot, it just it doesn't feel right to swallow it. And um, I don't feel like eating it. But this is good. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. I could eat this. I mean, yesterday I had that, and um, yesterday when I had this, I just, uh, I had to drink lots of hot water afterwards to help the digestion, and then um, later on, a few hours later, I still, uh, I decided to eat plums, even if I don't usually do that, I just had to. But now with this, I don't have to change my taste anymore. This is edible. I like it. I recommend it. Um, wait, I should try this as well. Mm, it smells salty. No, I will not try it. Okay, I should. Mm -mm. It's very salty and very spicy. Too spicy. Way too spicy. No. This and this. I got it from Paprika. Paprika. <laughs> That's it from uh, Yulu Small. Also in Yulu Small, I found a restaurant called. Um, party. And what I liked in here was the tea, mint tea. I uh, I drink hot water or hot tea or some hot liquid after meal in order to accelerate the digestion or help the digestion. It's got lots of things. This. Um, restaurant but nothing really good for me because everything that has sugar this tea is good for me and I don't drink alcohol so no 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 mm, it's got fermented pickles uh, I also do not take fermented things. I do not buy them because um, they they 
clean my tools I'm that room memo oh it is easy to cut that's good It's very hot. Let's try. It feels like it's the same recipe as everywhere else. It's got cheese. I taste cheese. I cannot eat it. It's got cheese. 
a bird. Let's see this. Yeah, cabbage is good. This is good too if you eat dairy. You know that old cheese that has been smoked? That's the one. It's got on top. So, um, if you can um, eat casein, you can eat it. If you can't, then I think your only option is what I had before. <laughs> and, uh, so I'm gonna try and eat a bit because even if my taste buds detected uh, the taste of cheese, I've asked the um, waiter and he said it doesn't have any cheese. So maybe it's just my taste buds that uh, something it has, they confuse it with cheese. However, my ears do not confuse gluten and uh, dairy with anything. So um, I'll just eat it and if I feel anything strange happening later on, I'll tell you. I feel a very, very, very strong cheesy taste. Maybe because of the spices it has, I don't know. It smells, it tastes and smells like um, the oldest, strongest, saltiest cheese we've ever tried. Mm, so I guess if you like salty cheese this one resembles salty cheese and it has a sauce that one is sweet might be maybe sweet and salty go together yeah but this one alone tastes just like cheese salty cheese and that one alone is uh, sweet tomatoes so that one has sugar definitely and this one has ton of, tons of uh, cheese oh sorry salt now it tastes better with the sugar from the sauce All three taste okay. This one alone, mm -mm. that one alone, mm -mm. all three of them are okay. Are worth trying. So that's it. <laughs>